I'm going to break down a real deal, a real deal with seller financing, right? A lot of people talk about seller financing, but they ever really do it with a real deal, show you what you can really do, make something happen in real life, or is it just like a book or a course, right? They take your money and then good luck making it happen in the real world. Not what's happening today. This is a real live deal, and my investor, Tim, has the opportunity to buy this deal with the seller financing. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. As mentioned, today we're talking all about seller financing, and we're doing so for my man, Tim. Tim, you sent this to me. Because you got a live one, bro. They're on the line. Woo! That little fishy is fucking wiggling on the freaking rod there, right? You got a seller finance deal on the line. Can we put something together? Can we make this happen? That's what I'm talking about. We're going to break down the line-by-line -line, uh, returns and all that jazz. But the biggest thing we're going to talk about, right, we're going to talk about strategy we're going to talk about making seller financing work and explain all the nuances of it right because seller financing is the greatest thing in the world if you're a buyer and you can get seller financing you need to gobble that up but it's a rare bird man seller financing is a rare rare bird because typically it greatly benefits the buyer not often does it greatly benefit the seller right like, if you were to, like, Google, like, you know, how to get seller financing and stuff like that, like, I'm sure there's hundreds and thousands and thousands and thousands of videos and content and all this jazz teaching people about courses and selling this or that, talking to people on the buying side how to get seller financing. But you know what you don't see? You don't see the same amount of content teaching sellers how to sell their property with seller financing. Think about that one while I take a quick break. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's jump into the numbers. Let's talk strategy. Let's talk the real deal. Let's talk about why buyers everywhere want seller financing and why sellers don't usually give it to us, right? Two zero 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 five. Two triple O five. Mountville Drive, Maple Heights, 44137. Price, 89 grand. Been on the market almost 70 days. 69 days. It was off the market, on the market, off the market. Currently active, okay? Now, this is in the Cleveland market, right? Super cheap market, great rental returns, this or that, right? We got this property here. Needs some love. Needs a little bit of love, but it looks like it was recently rented. We just kind of got to clean it up. And then this is a city in the Cleveland market that has what is called a point of sale system. That means anytime somebody wants to sell a house in this market, which we got to give some love to this kitchen, dude. Jesus, man, this is like leave it to beaver style. Uh, like Mar this is like before Martha Brady's time. Shit. But uh, in the city of Maple Heights, they got what's called a point of sale system. That means the city's going to come in and they're going to cite little ticky tack things that you got to do. And you got to put up an escrow deposit, right? So when you go to buy the house, you got to put up money that they think that it's going to cost you to renovate the house. Then you got to use different money to renovate it. Then you get your money back, right? Uh, so with the repairs we need to get this thing rent ready, and to do the POS inspection report, which I could attach uh, in an email to you, uh, we're going to need to spend 
roughly 20 grand to get this thing rent ready, okay? And clear off that POS. So we're looking at a reno of about 20 grand. No big deal. It's usually just like minor ticky tack stuff. Like I think they want us to do some like downspout stuff. It's a couple pages. No big deal, right? 20 grand, okay? And therein lies the problem. The seller wants all buyers to assume that. Well, a house like this in Maple Heights that needs $20,000 up front is not worth $89,000, okay? It's just not. It's too high. That's why nobody's buying it, right? That's why people are backing out, okay? And this is where seller financing comes in. The seller is now willing to do seller financing. But it's tit for tat, folks. It's tit for tat. What do sellers get out of seller financing? Not a lot. That's why people are trying to sell programs about seller financing to buyers because buyers really want it. Sellers aren't looking for it, right? The one benefit a seller gets, though, is a premium price. They could typically get a buyer to overpay for their property if that buyer doesn't have any other way to get financing. It'd be a buyer who can put this deal together with no other way, right? So the seller tries to get more money, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to give them more money. Not 89, though. That's like that's, that's too extreme, right? I think we give them 80 and then we put 20 into it, we're all in for 100. To be honest, see its current condition, I think we're overpaying by 15, maybe 20 grand. 15, 20 grand is what we're overpaying for, but we're gonna make up for it on terms, okay? After we put in that 20 grand to clear off that point of sale system, okay? And my team, we do all that on your behalf, right? We can get a Section 8 tenant in this house for 1075, right? Now, after your fixed and variable expense estimates, that's a clear profit estimate of approximately 6751 Now, what we need to do is try to put down 10%, 3% interest over 30 years. You do that, you're only going to be into this thing with twenty eight grand, okay? Because 8 is going to go to the seller for the down payment, okay? And then you'll get them to loan you 72 that's your 80. And then, of course, you got to spend 20 to get that reno done, right? If you do that, this thing would net out an 11.1% cash on cash return or a 7 cap. That is how you put together a seller finance deal in the real world. In the real world, both parties need to walk away happy. Again, that's why people are selling courses on seller financing to buyers, but never to sellers. Look. I want to make as much money as possible, but I have to understand there's a guy or a gal on the other side of the table that's also got motivations. They're trying to make money too, right? So in the real world, to get, you got to give. In this case, you're getting. You're able to put together a deal with a super low down payment, get financed when you could otherwise not be financed. So you're making something out of nothing. And then Mr. Seller here, they're getting a premium price for their property. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.